Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Monster High Monster Fest Frankie Stein doll. I got this doll at Walmart but they are available on Amazon, Walmart, and Paul's Mart's website for about $24 although Paul's Mart's is like $34 and this will be my second Monster Fest review after Claudine Wolf. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish the line, but I might get Cleo and Laguna when they're discounted. I'm just not in love with their dolls, but I do eventually want them just to complete the line. So we look at the side. The logo is a more vibrant gradient than previous boxes. Same with the Monster Fest logo. It is really vibrant um, compared to the pastels that they've used in the past. And it says here, Frankie, Claudine, Cleo, and Laguna have scored tickets to the Monster Fest, the most electrifying music festival of the year. They each shine in uniquely fabulous and gore, justly glam lurks decked out with freaky chic can bags and posters of their favorite bands. The ghouls can't wait to snack on slime, nachos, snap scary cool pics, and dance the fright away. So yeah, they used ghouls again. I wonder if that is intentional or not, because the gender-inclusive term is boo crew. Um, so that's just interesting that they used ghouls. And then on the side, we have kind of like festival icons with accessories from Frankie. Um, here is the barcode if you want to go look for them at Walmart. I don't know when or if they're coming to Target, but they should but now I'm going to open the box and show you what they come with here is Frankie right out of the box and they are looking really good this is definitely my second favorite monster fest doll their leg is kind of looking like a disco ball and it's matching their shoes which is really cool um, they have fringe on the on their pants uh, the hair is actually mostly black, which is kind of rare for Frankie, and I really like it. Um, they have bangs, they have a kind of techno flower crown headband, and this belt thing that goes around their waist as well as their leg. The fringe or frills are really cool. I'm not sure what they're meant to represent, but it's a nice touch to the outfit. Like, I could do without it or with it. The hair is saran, and as you can see, it is mostly black, with little white streaks in there, as well as some blue in their bangs. Um, here they are. I washed their hair and took off their clothes so we can look at all the individual pieces. But this is what their hair looks like washed. It is saran, so it's fine. And their hair is straight, so it's not really an issue. Here is a closer look on their pants. And the patterning is really cool. It's very Frankie. Um, again, the f tassels are the fringe. I don't know what they're meant to be. Like everything else, I can kind of like assume or guess what like electrical equipment they're supposed to represent, but I don't know, I can't really tell. Here is the top that they are wearing. It's similar to Claudine's where it's just simple, no like actual design on it. Um, here is their bag and it is really electric themed. There are cables and plugs and stickers on here. Um, there's a little gem one that looks like it was from Cleo or something. Um, more tassels, and then the other side is completely metallic, which is a nice contrast. And yeah, those plug, um, tassels, I guess, on the, on the bottom of it are really cool. Here is their belt. Um... The top part goes around their waist, and then the bottom part goes around their leg. Um, I wish it was painted, because this is a really cool piece. But it's just bright neon yellow, and that's kind of ugly. 
Um, here are their shoes, and these are really cool. They're like disco ball looking shoes with, um, you know, like the shoes with the wings on them, except they're like lightning bolts. Um, there, this is the mesh top that they wear underneath that silver top piece. Um, it doesn't look like it, but it does. Um, this really nasty looking hot dog. Um, would not want to eat that in real life. A ticket to the Monster Fest, and it just says a mid one on it. They come with gloves, kind of like biker gloves. This drink that would taste absolutely disgusting if you actually sipped on it. Um, it looks like a metal cup, and I feel like the drink would be really metally tasting. Um, another camera with an eyeball on it, except it's yellow. We've gotten that piece before. And then a necklace where it's really painted on details and it says Frankie on it. And then the flower crown. I think the they're supposed to be like motherboards. I think I could be wrong, but it's a really cool concept. And I like that they, what they did with it. And then we have their earrings. Um, and this one's just a plug. And then this one is an extension cord and i love how gimmicky this this doll is it's really funny um and then we have little bracelets one is a bracelet and the other is like a wristband that you know you get from from like getting your ticket or something and it just goes around your arm and then we have a poster for the monster fest and it's cleo uh laguna claudine and frankie uh, I wonder if they're going to be singing in the show because it's kind of weird how they get a poster when all the other ones are like bands and then a new Monster Fest logo which is all silver and sparkly instead of rainbowy and vibrant. So that's really interesting. Now I'm going to put the clothes back on Frankie and here they are in their final look looking absolutely amazing. Uh, definitely my second favorite Monster Fest doll after Claudine. Um, I think they did a really good job with all the gimmicks on here, and it really works. Um, I'll probably get Cleo next, and then Laguna, but my next review isn't going to be Monster High related. Join my Discord if you want to meet a newer community of people that also like Monster High. I also have all the links for most upcoming Monster High releases. Caddy, Spectra, and then we got G1 releases too.